What's up, everybody? My name is Coalfire, and welcome to Chrysanthemo. I have no idea if that is the correct or even close to the pronunciation of this, but this is a new first person, like atmospheric puzzle adventure game. And uh, it was made by seven students as their like capstone project. And I, it looked fucking gorgeous. So here we are. I'm hoping that the, uh, the full game has more sound than the main menu. So let's go. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. Let's. Whoa. Okay. Our movement's really fast. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait on. Hold on. Hold on a second. That light. You have a soul. Who in the world are you? Damn, this is useless. The font is dying already. I'll catch you in the next one. What? Is that me talking to the fountain? The fountain has a soul? What? Oh, holy. Jesus Christ, that's fast. Okay. God, I just really love this, uh, like, really, really vibrant and saturated uh, color scheme. I just always, I always really like that. Can I go in the water? I can. I can swim. Yes. A game that doesn't kill me when <laughs> I try and get wet. All right, so I have a feeling I was actually supposed to walk through here. So what's going on here? That kind of creaking sound in the background makes me feel like I'm being followed or something. It sounds like footsteps on gravel. Okay, so what are you, you big flower? Hi there. Are we? Whoa. All right. I was wondering if we were being teleported or something. No, I saw that broken bridge earlier. Did the flower just fix the fucking bridge? That's a powerful flower. Well done, power flower. Why does it sound like super high tech all of a sudden? Okay. Well... Let's just, uh, let's just go say, oh, we can jump. Oh, Lord. Okay, cool. So whoosh and a whoosh. Stopping sprinting in the air actually slows me down in the air. I like that. I like that. That's a lot of air control. All right, power flower. What you got for me this time? What's going on here? Oh, you make a super jump. I enjoy you, power flowers. Your contextual superpowers. While it kind of makes the uh, what to do in any given situation kind of obvious, I still like it. Because I don't really always know what they're going to do. Tired already? Of course not. This should be a piece of cake after all. You have a soul. Okay, sorry for the huge emphasis. You know, having a soul of this place is not the unusual, uh, or is not the usual, but no doubt you have to make uh, but no doubt you have one. Make the most of it and power up those flowers. They only react to souls. But I just clicked out of the game. Hey, come on, come on, you got this. All right, are you repairing another bridge for us? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, like the, the puzzle nature of the game so far has been go to place and click on thing, but I uh, I like it. It's more contemplative than it is puzzle. Whoa, okay. All right, so this guy, can I boop you from a distance? Oh, nice. I'm just phasing. Oh, well, I found the draw distance. <laughs> Hey, come on now, don't look at me like that. It's pretty boring here, you know? I need some distraction every now and then. Where are we? Oh yeah, we're, <laughs> you were dead. Only the dead ones can reach this place. Funny, don't you think? No? Okay, cool. So I'm just, I'm, I'm a corpse. 
I'm a walking, I'm a walking, booping corpse. That's fine. That's kind of a weird way to find out about it, though. Like, I'm, I'm a corpse, or I'm dead. Maybe I'm not a corpse. I'm just a disembodied soul. And uh, how would you like to find out about that by being told by a waterfall? All right. So I have a feeling you, you gonna fix this bridge. And up, up, and away. Oh. Oh, those are gonna be the, the aura flowers that create the bridge. So, just out of curiosity, what's preventing me from just like trying to glitch up this? Like going all, all Skyrim on the... <laughs> the jump is disabled. <laughs> oh, clever, clever devs, clever devs. All right, let's get through this and then I boop you. Oh shit, okay, this one's not complete. Boop. Okay, so uh, part of me was thinking that like turning one on would turn the others off, but not the case. And you come halfway up. Oh, there's more than one of you. Look at you, you tiny column family. You're adorable. All right. So, come here, fountain of uh, death knowledge. All right, don't get mad at me. I'll tell you what I think you are. You must be a sacrifice. The human, uh, the human world killed you after a ceremony that allowed you to reach this place without losing your soul. It's basically like having superpowers. Super cool, isn't it? No? <laughs> Good to know that I was a ritualistic sacrifice in my past life. Uh, but, you know, now I can poke flowers in this realm and make things happen. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, Fountain, what else have you for me? Tell me more about my past life. Hey there, how you doing? You know, uh, we are alone now, but this world is full of beings not, uh, not so long time ago. Cool guys, until they imprisoned me in these fountains. Can you believe it? It was really rude in my opinion. It said I was evil. <laughs> I was second less, uh, second least evil entity of this place. Okay, so you admit that you are a tiny bit evil. I, I, that's cool. I'm cool with that, you know. I've worked with evil characters before in games. I'm not always against it. A lot of the times they're the more interesting ones. All right, we got a staircase. All right. Where's my flower to boop? I feel like I gotta boop a flower. There's a flower. Can I boop you? Boop! I'm sorry, what the fuck was that noise? What the hell's going on in here? All right, can I, can I Skyrim my way up this? Oh man, the jump doesn't reset unless you're actually on some kind of ground. So, uh... What the fuck is that noise? It's creepy, man. I feel like something's right behind me. But every time I turn around, it just moves back behind me again. All right, come on, Power Flower. What you got for me? What's going on down here? Oh. Sounds! You're freaking me out, man. All right. So now, can I boop this one? Oh, this is one of those, like, super jump ones, isn't it? Maybe? Okay, so is that for getting back? Or what am I missing? Maybe I need to go up there first. All right. What the fuck is that noise? It's just so out of place that it's freaking me the fuck out, man. Like, I want to know what it is, but at the same time, I kind of don't. Super jump? Yeah, I'm glad to see the super jump is back. I like that one. Jesus Christ. Sound designer, you're, you're messing with my noggin. I don't know how, oh, okay, there we go. 
Don't know how I feel about it. Oop. Super jump. And then are you a reappear? Yep. Ah, okay. What the fuck? Oh, look at me, at the background. I'm so beautiful. Yes, indeed, I'm a tree, a gorgeous one, if you ask me. Sadly, I can't move. I have to thank you for all your hard work and uh, talk, talking a little bit with me. Come closer so I can pos Revile... Fountain? Why you gotta be that way? All right, camera path. You're okay, not fantastic though. All right, there's the other one we need. And then we can use that as a super jump. All right, noise. You've happened enough times now that I'm no longer suspicious of you. Uh, we don't need to push that one again. And then we come over, woo! And then up and super jump. And then super jump. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Uh, can I make this jump? Oh, barely. Uh, and if, like, it wasn't enough already, I have the power left to migrate into a body that already has a soul. Where in, uh, where in the world can I find that? So cruel. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay. Hi there, tree. You look like the end of the game. Am I, am I mistaken in thinking that? Um, is there a way out of here? I don't, I don't want to be possessed by a water fountain. What a weird way to go. Thank you very much, friends. I owe you one. Oh, come on, don't look at me like that. Losing free will and control over your body is not that big a deal. Young dead ones nowadays can't bear to lose anything at all. Back in my days, well, I don't think we have much time left. Come here. All right. Take my body, you asshole. I want you to know that I have severe digestive issues. You will not enjoy it. <laughs> Overall, not bad. Not bad at all. The, uh, the camera sensitivity was a little high and uh, I was scared to press escape in there because um, I thought that if I did, it would just exit the entire game. This was pretty cool. Like for, for a student project, the three like different auras or effects that the flowers could create, whether or not that was like raising something out of the ground, making something appear within its aura or the super jump, it did a pretty good job of like making the puzzles consistently interesting. Uh, my big criticism of the game is that I don't really think that I can call them puzzles though. This is a, uh, like a story driven first person platformer. And while there are some like minor puzzle elements to it, uh, for the most part, it's push button to proceed and that's okay. I just don't think that the game should necessarily be calling itself a puzzle game because, uh, there's not really anything to solve. It's just find the flower and move forward. The only like really puzzle based one was the last one. And it was just a matter of, you can see the end of the pathway here, but first you have to go walk the rest of the pathway. And that was uh, the only one that really felt any kind of puzzle. But I have to say the sound design, uh, really damn good. While the weird sound effects did kind of drop off in their value and uh, mysteriousness at the end, the overall ambience of the game was really damn nice. And the extra little sound effects when they first started popping up uh, really made the place feel kind of off in a good way. Like uh, what the fuck is wrong with this place kind of way. The, uh, the story driven bits were not bad. There were a couple typos, but I think um, the developers of this game come from a country where English is not the first or primary language. So that like, <laughs> I don't always type perfectly. So that's completely fine. Uh, but the art style I think is, is definitely one of the strongest points of this game. The like the super well contrasted high vibrance, kind of low poly, kind of wind waker esque kind of uh, art style. I really like it. I do. Um, it's 
it gives a perfect sense of the like realist kind of surrealism um with the the hybrid of this semi cartoony semi realistic style and i really like it i do really like it but if i can attempt to pronounce the name of this game again chrisan tempo if you guys want to try it out for yourselves the link is down in the description below but thank you so much for watching my name is Coldfire, and i'll see you next time